Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December the 7th of 2020. Well, it is titled Mammatus Clouds over Mount Rushmore. So what do we see here? Well, in the foreground, we see Mount Rushmore, and that is in South Dakota in the United States and lists four former US presidents pictured there. And you can see those images in the foreground. And then up in the sky, we see in this case, not as we often do the stars, but we see some clouds and some very unusually shaped clouds. And these are what are called mammatus clouds, which are an interesting type of cloud that are quite different than ordinary clouds. Most clouds are generally flat bottomed. So they look very flat on the bottom, whereas these ones are not. These ones have various bulges associated with them. So they look quite different and give a very unusual texture to the sky here. Now these will form when uh, we get some ice and turbulence within the cloud layers and that causes some of the air pockets to sink down and heat up and it's often associated with thunderstorms. So uh, we see a thunderstorm association here and possibly something related to the development of a thunderstorm that actually gives us these unusual type of clouds that we see here today. And to give a sense of scale, each of these is about one kilometer or a little over half a mile across. So each of those lobes that you see there is that large. So we do lose that perspective of how big things are sometimes when we look up at clouds in the sky and you have to wonder how big they actually are. They don't always look that large, but we're losing the perspective of distance of how high they are up in the atmosphere. So they're actually very, uh, very large uh, clouds that we are seeing here. And in fact, even just though each of those individual lobes being nearly half a mile across. Now, one of the things that differentiates these from many other clouds is that most clouds are formed by rising air as the air rises and cools off, it forms the clouds. These ones are actually formed by sinking air. So that's a little one of the differences and gives the difference in the appearance that we see in the image here today. So that was our picture of the day for December the 7th of 2020. It was titled Mammatus Clouds over Mount Rushmore. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be an almost great conjunction. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.